Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Hogwarts Legacy. I have prepared as much as I can. Uh, I do have more ingredients for Thunderbrew, but as you can see I'm full up on Thunderbrew. And I don't have any more ingredients for this. I am going to check on my plants real quick. And then we are going to go rescue um, Mr. Oaks. So. Wishing it was at night. It'd be so much easier to sneak up on this guy if it was at night. But. I may have more luck higher up in the keep. Pavelia. A collection chest. Alright, I'm gonna get these chests. Wizards will be defeated. This is the spot on the map. I'd best have my wits about me. Are you going to come over here? Someone there? Uh, 
I will make you pay. Avelia. All right. I have. Yes. And I'm without my friends. Yep. If you hear my kids in the background, they are on spring break. I can't defeat a troll with Petropagus Totalis. So I hope you guys are having a fantastic uh, April 1st, which is Fred and George Weasley's birthday. And it's also April Fool's Day. Yes, and it's also April Fool's Day. Um, so... And we are on. Do a prison make sometimes. Avelia. We are on hard mode, so this will probably be one of the hardest ones yet. Um. Which you know later I'm going to find in here. But. Yeah. I wanted, um, what? I'm very happy what? I got to do a Hogwarts Legacy oh, yeah. on their birthday. I'm so hoping, so oh, yeah. even if, um, it says right here that the solar system is still finished, it's finished, <laughs> But we look below our sister's alive. Wait, you said time the galaxy here. It looks as though Adelaide's instincts were spot on. You've one less follower, Ranrock. Yes. So, yeah, I'm happy I got to do a Hogwarts Legacy on their birthday. 
I'm hoping that um, on the Battle of Hogwarts, I will be doing the same thing. There should be nine points. I don't know if you know this. But one of them definitely says that. You ought to cut back on pudding. Mistook you for a troll the other day. I can't find this. It's And if I'm not on Hogwarts Legacy on the Battle of Hogwarts, I will make it so that I'm on Hogwarts Legacy on the Battle of Hogwarts. Missed a bag already? Huh. How did I already I miss a bag? Exactly what I wanted to do, but okay. Back on track. Pavelia. We'll reclaim. 
save what is rightfully ours. A human's word is worthless. It's this prisoner it's owes us the metal we were promised. So I use some of the wigan oil potion. This must 
be Mr. Rooks's wand. Perhaps now he can set himself free. Okay. I found his wand. No, Mr. Oaks. Hmm. Revelio. I found another collection chest. Excellent. I can't carry any more Wiccan Wolf. You should be able to sell your Wiccan Wolf potions. I know I've said it multiple times, but you really should be able to if that's what you need to do. Like, if you if you own the PS5 and um you are able to do the exclusive Revelia. um quest and you own the shop spoiler um you should be able to use it you know Like, I enjoy having a sh shop when I do get it in my other games, but the limitations on it, like, if you have an excess amount of ingredients or potions, you should be able to use it. I wonder if Adelaide's uncle could be down there. Hello. Hello, Mr. Oaks. Fortunately, I've already found your wand, Mr. Oaks. Oh, you found it! Pass it to me. Hurry, before they come. I must get out. Hurry! Yes, have your wand, please. Hello! You did it! Oh, you found my wand and... Wait! You're a student? Oh, we must get you to safety immediately. It's dangerous. It's all right, Mr. Oaks. I've dealt with these goblins before. Dear Merlin, you're either very lucky or very talented. Well, how did or you both. find me? I'm a friend of Adelaide's. She was worried about your business with Van Rock's loyalists. Oh, she was right to be. I couldn't go through with the agreement, and when I told them, I ended up blindfolded and behind bars. Been locked in that infernal cell for so long, they'd forgot I was even there. I overheard things. If only I could reward you for what you've done. Blasted goblins stole every canut on me. All I can say is thank you, truly. You're very welcome. Do you speak gobbledygook? Am I right that you speak gobbledygook? Unbeknownst to Ramrock's fiends, I do. I've always had an affinity for goblin culture. Knew I wanted to be a metal trader ever since I was a lad. It wasn't easy learning the language. It's, it's complex. And my memory's as weak as my knees these days. But after decades working with fine goblin folk, I grew fairly proficient. At least, I'd like to think so. 
Alright, and what did you overhear? You mentioned you overheard things. <sighs> Sad tale, really. I think I know where Ramrock's unfortunate vendetta against wizardkind began. Although dragon breeding was outlawed by the Warlocks Convention of 1709, Ranrock stumbled upon an illegal dragon camp. He was young, found the creatures fascinating. He'd visit the camp in secret whenever he could, never making his presence known. After weeks of sly surveillance, he finally summoned the courage to speak to the wizard in charge. Ranrock wanted to join them and the creatures. The wizard happened to drop his wand. Ranrock saw an opportunity. He picked it up, went to hand it back as a, a means of introducing himself. The sight of a goblin with a wand sent the wizard into an instant rage. He beat Ranrock nearly to death. Ever since, Ranrock has despised wizard kind. Sees us all as cruel. Mm -hmm. Well, that certainly shines a light on why Ranrock is so hateful towards wizard kind, but not all wizard kind are cruel. Um, just like not all goblins are evil, or what is seen as evil. Um, but it doesn't excuse what he's doing. But yeah, I was glad I was able to help her. I'll be glad to bring back some news to Adelaide. I'm grateful I was able to help you, Mr. Oaks. Adelaide thinks the world of you. Oh, and I her. She's become quite savvy to my trading habits, always analyzing my detailed owls. Oh, if only I hadn't resorted to trading with such fiends. A lesson I shan't soon forget. Having my wand back is like being reunited with an old friend. I bet. I must return home and inform Adelaide of my safety. Will you be all right? I'll be fine, Mr. Oaks. You get back to Adelaide. I assure you, her worries outweigh yours. Oh, I'm anxious to see my dear niece. And then I plan to travel far from here for my next round of trading. Thank you. May life reward you justly for your deeds. Be well, my friend. Mr. Oaks was lucky. Ranrock's lot would never have freed him. No, he wouldn't have. So, I understand having a lavish, um, lifestyle. But speaking as a minimalist, if he found a few really good pieces, favorite pieces, and re only replaced them when they had wear and tear and needed to be replaced, I'm pretty sure the struggle for Hogwarts stuff will decrease, you know? But anyway, let's I gotta defeat ten trolls, and once the a hundred goblins will easily do that. Um, eighteen more spiders, one more infamous foe to get uh, an avenging wolf mask, five more infury, five more dug bugs, thirty more dark wizards. That'll be easy storyline. Uh, 16 more mongrels and 15 more dueling feats I need to try and do those more so we got another goblin resistance that's great and uh, cushioning for the trolls and we got laceration for defendo that's great and manipulation, Imperial target does extra damage. We don't know that yet. Um, loyalist commanders. These goblins wield hammers with impressive skill, often attacking in rapid succession. While leaping, they are particularly vulnerable to being slammed with the sendo. A lot of them are pretty much 
vulnerable with this end up. They also use ancient magic blasts that smash their targets from afar. That's nice. Um, medium ground staircases. Those don't look like staircases. Set the tone for your Vivarian from the... Oh! Surfaces! I misread that. <laughs> Set the tone for your vivarium from the ground up. And I got something. Handcrafted necklace. It's a necklace with three turquoise gems. Earned by freeing Roland Oaks from the Loyalist and returning his wands to him. Okay. And in here... I think there is any new ones, but we do have a couple of, of course, that one would be locked. We have a couple of um, unidentified stuff that we should... Go do, and then all stuff that are not good. So, You know what'll make us feel better before heading to Adelaide. Okay, is that all of them? Are they all happy? They are all happy. Excellent. going to go find Adelaide. She, nope, she's in the Transfiguration Courtyard. Not have to. Okay. Um, guess before I go anywhere, I'm going to sell couple things and then we will obviously get this Merlin trial. Lots of Merlin trials. Good grief. Um
Okay. Um. Oh. Uh. So, go to Hogs Main, sell some stuff, and then next time we will go on a journey um, to get the competition out of the way, but also starting our journey to meet Sebastian. Rebellion. Hello. Magical mail. These sheets in the post office magically sort various bits of mail. The post office itself houses over 200 owls, color coded based on how quickly a particular letter or parcel needs to be delivered. Okay. in and have a look around. No touching if you have sticky fingers. Okay. I suspect you have a sharp eye for fashion. Be sure to stop by whenever you're about. Plenty of wonderful books to stoke a curious mind like yours. Nothing like finding just the right thing, is there? Five more. For Let me this know if guy, else I can do to help. Not a day goes by. All right, so I'm gonna leave it off here, and next time we will travel towards um, where Amelda Ray's is. We probably won't get there next time because I will not be flying because there are all sorts of um places that we need to go, things to discover, things to do, so, um, it'll probably take a couple episodes, I'm hoping we at least get to the town by the second episode, and then the third episode we can do the flying, now it would be much faster to do, to just fly over there but um that's why we can get some more merlin trials get some of you know like get this field page get this treasure vault get some beasts um and stuff like that and 
you know, just discover some stuff along the way. So hopefully we'll at least be almost to there by then. So. But I hope you guys have the rest of today as good. I hope you have a good April Fool's Day and Weasley Twins birthday. But leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe if you haven't already because there will be more coming your way. And I will see you guys next time.